Are you one of those CEO or business founders who's absolutely convinced that organic social media marketing doesn't work? You've done it a few times, haven't seen an ROI, and why maybe begrudging a lot of people to do a little bit of it, you're never going to put some time, resource, and talents behind it and do it right? Well, buckle up, because we've got some news for you. Organic social media marketing works. And by the end of the conversation today, I'm going to try to convince you that you need to be doing more of it. Hello, my name is Bill Arnold. I'm president of Prevail Marketing. You may find us at prevailmarketing.com. And every day we try to give you a video that shares some ideas, some secrets, some tips, some recommendations on how to grow your business through better sales and marketing. Recommendation that comes from over 23 years of experience, just for myself, not counting what the rest of the team brings together. This is wisdom born of pain, actually, because we've done it. We've been there. We've been in the trenches. We saw what works. We saw what doesn't work. And we've had lots of success. And we want to share that strat- those strategies with you so you don't have to make the same ones. You can, get it out of the, you can get it right out of the gate to begin with. So today we're going to be talking a little bit more about organic social media marketing and why it's important for you to do this. And again, if we do it right, you're going to want to come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day as we talk about specific techniques and strategies that actually work. So let's begin why you need to do organic social media marketing. Again, organic social media marketing means you're not paying any paid demand. You're not paying anything to get it promoted, to get it seen by more eyes. You're just letting the quality and the distribution of your content decide whether or not it's going to win the eyes, hearts, and souls of people and whether they're going to take action. Now, you would think it'd be easy because there's over 5.5 billion, that's with a B, active users of social media just on the first couple major platforms. What am I talking about that? You look at, you look at the, well, you want what the first one is? It's Facebook. Facebook has over 3 billion active users. You know what number two is? Number two is YouTube. It has over 2.4 billion active users. Then they go to WhatsApp, Instagram, WeChat, TikTok, Facebook Messenger, Telegraph, Snapchat, and another one I'm not sure which one is Doya. I've never heard of that, actually. But what's not on there is Twitter. It's X because it's farther down. It doesn't have that many active users, but many people use it. Many people swear by it. And you would think with all those active users, with all those eyes wanting content, desiring content, it should be a walk in the park. Forget your content shown, exposed, and shared by people. And you're frustrated because it doesn't happen. Why doesn't it happen? Well, there's over 510,000 comments and over 293,000 statuses, updates, posted every single minute. That's every minute, okay? There's over 10,000 messages that come across your, your social media platforms on a given day. And you've got about eight seconds of attention span to capture the imagination of the average viewer. So it's hard, I grant you, it's difficult to do, and it takes strategy to do it. But the other part that makes it hard is diminishing returns. You know, the average reach of an organic post on Facebook was only 5.2%. That means only 19 fans are gonna see organic traffic. Why is that? For two reasons. One, the algorithm's always changing, and it's tough to get it current and up to date, but unless you're a student of it, which we are. And the other one is all these channels are trying to push you to bait to buy. They really want to encourage you to pay to get that kind of exposure. So with all that doom and gloom I just said, stated, how can I sit here and say you need to do more of it? Well, you need to do more of it because it works. And I'm going to start with the misconception right out of the gate that there's no return on investment that you can ascertain for social media marketing, organic social media marketing. I mean, I've seen numbers for paid social media, and you would think if it's got to be paid, it's going to be better numbers for so, for free, but that's not how it works, and that's not how people view this. But we've done the studies. We, you know, I've, not, I've gone online, I've tried to find high and low for a study that says, what is the ROI for organic social media marketing? And I can't find it, honestly. Maybe it's out there, please share with me. I'd love to see it. But we did our own study. We did our own evaluation. We did our own reporting. And how do we calculate? How do we come about it? Well, first off, we've basically uh, used UTM, Uranus Tracking Code Modules, which basically are tracking code you put on the back of, I'm not sure if that's right, on the back of a, of a URL that basically um, will let you know the source of where that link came from. So I can know if it came from Twitter. I know it came from Instagram. I know if it came from YouTube. I know it came from Facebook. I know if it came from anywhere else. I know if it was a paid effort or I know if it's a free effort based on that UTM that I'm using. 
so I know where it originated from. It's a snippet that goes on the back of the URL, and it's pretty accurate. We use that. We use also landing form data, page data because we ask questions on some of our landing on, on landing pages forms where it originated from. So we get that information. We collect it. We also have used our buyer persona. When someone first comes a client, we ask them, what was your first touch point? And see if it correlates. We put all that together. We synthesize and we look at it. And we've come up with a pretty remarkable set of information. Now, if I sit there and say, what is the organic traffic? What is the ROI? Well, it's hard to do that, I get, because there's a lot of touch points between, you know, which is the one that tripped them? Which is the one that caused you to do this? So we do what typically people look at is the first touch point. What was the first point where you've identified us as a possible person you wanted to do business with? What was the first interaction you had with us? Because that is how you would typically attribute ROI for marketing purposes. And we're able to figure that out using those techniques. And what we've come up with, we came up with that for B2B clients, because it's much easier to figure out for B2C because they usually buy and we can figure that out purchases are much quicker sometimes the same time you land on the page it's easy to figure out so b2b is harder but we've looked at first touch numbers for b2b and our social media ranges go from 16 percent to 27 percent 16 to 27 percent of the time the first touch the first exposure the first no, notice they ever had of us or my clients is through social media organic social media that's pretty remarkable isn't it I mean that you know that got us on the on the on their radar, that got their attention, that got got them to start investigating other ways, going maybe to our home, maybe going to our homepage, looking at the content there, looking at the blogs, looking at the re, the resources we have. All that stuff originated from that first touch, and again, that's sixteen to twenty-seven percent, and that's not just one time. We've done it over a number of clients. It's pretty accurate, guys. That alone should be the reason why you want to do this, right? If like 16, 20 to 27% of my clients originated because of social media, I'd want to do more organic social media. The other thing you do is create a community. And creating a community can be amazing because if you have a community, okay, they not only want to see your content every single day, wait to see your content every single day, but when they see it, they engage with it. They like and they share they share to their own social reach, which is probably different and unique from yours. And that gives you more people. And so once you create a community, you've got an army of advocates who are driven by passion to promote you and your brand. I mean, we've all seen it. We've all seen individuals who create um, organic traffic, uh, or create uh, organic, organic riches because they create great content on a day in, day out basis. And I've seen it work firsthand. My sons have done this. My son started a YouTube channel that over since 20, from 2019 to now has over 1.4 million subscribers. They started Twitter probably about two years ago. They now have over 1.4 million followers on Twitter. Why? Because they have great content. They do it on a day in consistently. They listen to who their customers are, their viewers, subscribers followers, and they provide them with great quality content. It's consistency and calibration is what they said works. So if you want to create a community, create great content on a consistent basis and calibrate the performance every single day. And you can get that community built. And once you have the community built, all of a sudden now, you again, you have an army of advocates who are pushing your products, your ideas, your company. It also promotes authenticity and trust when you have organic social traffic. You know, I'm going to do a whole segment tomorrow on user-generated content because it's not what you say about yourself, it's what other people say about you. And if you have a organic reach out there, you're going to get people liking it, sharing it, commenting on it. That creates that authenticity, that creates that trust, that creates additional content and originality. Increase brand awareness. I mean, you know, if you sit there and just post your blogs on your website, if you build it, they won't come. I promise you, you can have the best blogs on your website, the best resource on your website. You can have the, the world's best website. And you can do all that. And if you build it, they won't come. Or at least not, not, not in the volumes of the masses you think. Eventually, Google may recognize you for what you have. But they're going to recognize you far sooner 
and you get far more traffic, far more volume if you push your information through and share it on an omni-channel basis. It works. Increases brand awareness. Targeted audience engagement, audience engagement through organic social media. I can target audience. I can go to a LinkedIn user group that's just about SEO and put an article about SEO. I can put an article for startups that's just about startups. I can target my audience through organic social media. It builds long-term relationships and it gives your band personality. I mean, I'm not sure my personality is really the one I should speak to, honestly. I mean, it's pretty basic. But there's lots of great companies like HubSpot who has created a great personality. They have a great culture. They've got a great persona online. You look at companies like KFC and Wendy's and all these companies who have this, this flair about how they post. They create a great culture. People come just to see their, their post. You can do that. You can get that kind of authenticity. And the other thing, it finally, is it's cost-effective. I mean, I said you really, it's really almost impossible to care, compare ROI because when you talk about paid demand, you don't talk about internal costs for, like, the employees. You don't talk about internal costs for insurance, internal costs for computers and what have you, keep the lights on. All that's just kind of built in. The only thing you really factor in for ROI when you talk about paid demand is the cost of actually promoting it. How much did I pay to get it promoted on particular channels? Well, there's nothing you're paying for for organic. It's purely just blood, sweat, and tears. And so it's very cost effective. The ROI, if you look at the actual ROI, if you get an actual client, it's huge. So guys, this works. It works very, very well. And tomorrow we're going to start talking about actual campaigns, actual strategies that you can use organically that work. I've done them. I've been part of them. I'm going to give you the receipts, the evidence, and exactly what you need to do. So stop by tomorrow. We're going to start tomorrow talking about social media marketing using user-generated content, leveraging someone else's time, effort, talent, and reputations to help you grow your business. If you found this to be valuable, if there's something that has served you well, please like, please subscribe, please follow, please share. You know what? Please, right now, just go down and click the share button wherever you're at. That would be helpful because we'd love to get, we're taking some traction. You know what? We'd love to hear that some voices out there in the wilderness are paying attention to us. So if you like it, please share, please like, please subscribe, please comment. If you would like information about your particular social media marketing program, we'd love to give you specific advice on how you could help yourself or how we can help you if you'd like, just by giving us a call. Our phone number's on our website, an email's on our website, and there's a form on our website. We're easy to get a hold of. We avoid all that friction. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. And I appreciate you being here. Till tomorrow, have a great night.